Now, many Ukrainians continue to flee their country, and back here at home, Buffalo is standing by to take in refugees. News 4's Chris Hervatas tells us what it will take to get these people settled here in the U.S. Chris? Well, Don, this here was the statement from Governor Kathy Hochul late last night. She said, just as the Statue of Liberty stands tall in our harbor, New York stands ready to welcome Ukrainian refugees. So I checked in with one of our area's resettlement agencies to see what they expect to happen. Since the early 1900s, we've always welcomed in immigrant groups. And just since November, the Buffalo community has welcomed five to 600 Afghan refugees. The International Institute of Buffalo has helped resettle 133 of them, with more expected to come. Now, as the crisis in Ukraine is unfolding, Interim Executive Director Jennifer Rizzo Choi is paying close attention. I do think, I sense that we will be getting Ukrainian refugees in the United States and in Buffalo, it's not gonna happen immediately. But she anticipates within six to 12 months, a Ukrainian refugee population will be settling here. On Thursday, I spoke with Yuri Rostishin, chairman of the Buffalo chapter of the Ukrainian Congress Committee of America. He addressed the need for refugee services. Well, I'm not sure if we are prepared, so we're going to have to get ready quickly. Rizzo Choi believes the Buffalo community will rise to the challenge, but she's asking for additional support from the federal government and others, saying the refugee resettlement industry was decimated under the Trump administration. But here's the biggest challenge the International Institute and other services like it face. Our biggest struggles to date have been housing both short-term and long-term housing for the refugees that have come in. Um, Buffalo does have available housing, but we, we can't just absorb 600 people in two months <laughs> into affordable long-term housing. So we've been working on finding them short-term places to live, like hotels. Rizzo Choi says the longer it takes to get refugees into permanent housing, the longer it takes to get them into employment training, ESL classes, and schooling. These are the difficulties they face as they begin to prepare to potentially welcome Ukrainians. Chris Arvaditz, News 4.